If you're single and dating, you can't escape disappointment. It happens. But what we can do is do a better job of reducing that disappointment. In this video, I share how. What's good everyone, Mario here. Let's talk about being single, dating, and experiencing disappointment because none of us enjoy it, but all of us experience it. Rich, poor, tall, short, male, female, old, young, we all experience disappointment and we would love to not. So what I want to share with you in this video is the true culprit behind your dating disappointment. And if you make it to the end of the video, I want to share with you a tip that will help you reduce your dating disappointment. So let's get started. What is the true culprit behind your dating disappointment? Well, it's you and your expectations. You have expectations and those inevitably lead to disappointment because you know what? Nobody is you. No one thinks like you. No one, no one is going to act like you. So when people don't think or act or behave as you would, that's just normal. But for you, it's disappointing. So what we need to do is kind of do things differently. And no, doing things differently does not mean dating without expectations. You can't do that, right? You can't have an expectation of no expectations. You still have an expectation. So here's the thing. What I think makes much more sense is saying, okay, what are the rules of this game? One of the rules is there will be expectations. Well, if there will be expectations, no matter what, how about we choose and lean into some of the more healthy expectations? Let's try these. These are expectations that I recommend that you hold on to and value and uh, just, just hold on to. Keep these, okay? Things like openness, honesty, respect communication. These are all perfectly acceptable and recommended expectations for you in the dating scene. Others are not going to be so productive or as healthy or just as constructive. So let's try and avoid some of these that I'm about to list now. One of them being the expectation of commitment that comes way too early. There's some of us out there who think that after X amount of dates, we're now in a committed relationship. Or after X amount of time that we've been seeing each other that you're not seeing anyone else. Or that you should be focusing on just me more. That is an expectation that so many of us have experienced disappointment from because it's really not fair. We're not having that conversation, but we're making an expectation of, well, we haven't talked about this, but it's been this many dates, it's been this many weeks or whatever. I believe that we're either together or you should be focusing on me. This expectation is one that leads to disappointment. All right. Next up, we have this. Sometimes we, we can fall victim to caring too much about appearance. All right. Sometimes we have this expectation of, well, if they like me or if they really valued this date, they would have dressed this way, like maybe in a dress instead of pants or maybe in slacks instead of jeans, uh, whatever it is. We, we can sometimes throw in these expectations of how someone else should dress. But we don't know what's going on in that other person's life or how how they value their appearance. You know, personally for me, you will never get me to appear for a date in a suit or anything even business casual. It doesn't happen. It doesn't mean that I'm not interested or it doesn't mean anything about how I value the date. It's just part of me. And if you would go on a date with me, you would hear me explain, you know, like how I am. I'm just not the same as you, maybe. All right. Next. You have this expectation maybe of communication, how you would do it. So you, you get disappointed because people don't call you when you think they would have. Well, we went on a great date and then he didn't call me for, you know, X amount of time. I would have messaged at this time. You have, you're having an expectation of communication, whether it's a phone call, a text or an email or, or whatever for if someone likes me, then they will do this and no. If you like someone, then that's what you would do. Maybe you would message them on your way home. Maybe you would message them the next day. Maybe they would message you when it's convenient. Maybe they would message you just a little bit longer. So you present this expectation for when people should communicate and how they should communicate even too. Like maybe you're, you're not a fan of a text message that somebody sent you, but you're putting into this, this disappointment because they didn't pour their heart out when maybe someone's just sending a quick line and it's not their intention to pour their heart out or even have a meaningful conversation at that point in time. They're just 
a quick thinking of you or a quick display of appreciation or just quick effort for connection. Meanwhile, you're disappointed because it's not everything that you'd expected, hoped for, or maybe you would have sent yourself. So oftentimes we are bothered by our expectations from texting or phone calls or any sort of communication. All right. So make sure you're not falling victim to those sort of expectations. So those are some healthy ones and those are some less healthy expectations. I encourage you to lean in the healthy ones. And if you have any other lesser unhealthy expectations, let them go or don't value them as much. And if you're watching this video and you have some that I didn't list, feel free to share those in the comments as well. Now let's get to it. I promised you I was gonna share with you a tip for reducing dating disappointment. And here's the thing. What I want you to do is perform this exercise. And this is something that you can have to do a few times and you'll see how it benefits. But I want you to do is I want you to practice ignoring and avoiding some of the expectations that you normally have that are super small and super trivial. Expectations that you can say, okay, you know, I have all these expectations, but I could let a few of these go, you know, such as, I don't know, like that they have to not wear jeans on, on a date. All right. Well, what if you can let that one go? Well, then if you do let it go, then you're not getting upset when someone wears jeans on a date or you don't have, you don't get so upset about they have to message me on the way home from our first date or that night. If you're just like, you know what, I'm going to let that go. You know, maybe I'll, I can't let go thinking about it the next day or the day after. But, um, for that night, I'm not going to, I'm going to focus on ignoring or avoiding having that expectation. I might try and have that expectation, but I'm going to purposely and consciously try and talk myself out of it. The trick here is when you start small, you're able to say like, well, this isn't such a big deal. I can do this. You eliminate some of the lesser and smaller sort of dating expectations that you have. And guess what? Now you can knock off some of the easy ones. You build some momentum. And when you build some momentum, you realize like, oh, this isn't so bad. Now I'm not stressing out about shoes. Oh, now I'm not stressing out about getting a uh, phone call or a text that the evening of, uh, of our date. I'm stressing out about it. And you know what? It's one less thing to think about. It's one less thing to be disappointed about. So when you're participating in that exercise, you're at every, every time you, you reduce an expectation, you lower your chance of disappointment. So guess what? As you build momentum, you keep on knocking out more and more of those little trivial sort of expectations. And when you're done with those, maybe you move on to some of the more middle tiered expectations that you can work on because you know you can do it now. You've already gotten rid of all these smaller, lesser expectations and you're living just fine. As a matter of fact, it's kind of made your life a little bit easier. So you move on to middle tier and then maybe some higher tier expectations that will really make a big deal and a big impact on your dating experience and making it a more positive, fulfilling, pleasant sort of experience. Try that out and, um, you know, let me know how it goes for you. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you appreciated the content and value of this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And male or female, if you're struggling with the attraction, dating, or relationship scene, I invite you to join me in Get Game Group Academy. It's free. Sign up now and receive free video coaching lessons designed to help you up your attraction, dating, and relationship game.